Hi, everybody. It's so great to see you. I hope you're all safe and well. I'm Sue Crosby Tangent, the Associate Athletics Director here. And right next to me, about less than six feet away, <laughs> is... Here we go, Beth. I am Sue's GA, and I'm here to talk to you about academics. So we are here to fill you in on everything you need to know in order to be eligible, to be academically successful for the start of school for next year. So we're going to start off with Kara, and she's going to talk about the 24 credit rule. So the MASCAC decided to get rid of the 24 credit rule for 2020-2021. You still need to have a 2.0 GPA, but you do not have to pass 24 credits this year to be eligible for next year. For 2021-2022, you do have to pass 24 credits this upcoming academic year to be eligible, though. So if you have any questions, reach out to Kara or reach out to me. All right, we can help you with that. So and next, and if I say so one more time, they're probably going to take away my contract. Then I'm going to talk to you about the restoration of the spring season. The NCA, in their infinite wisdom, realized that since you lost your spring season, you should get it back. So you will have a restoration of the season for next spring. And they're also going to restore a semester of eligibility. As you know, you have to have 10, you have up to 10 full-time semesters to play four seasons of the sport. So you get your season back, and if you have if you have any semesters left over, you'll be able to use them, plus an extra one next year. So everybody's individual situation, particularly for seniors, is different. Some are ready to graduate, some still have some more time. But please email me at stangent at bridgew.edu so that I can talk to you about your particular situation. So that, because I'm the expert on it, nobody else is, don't check in with your coach, don't check in with your advisor, reach out to me so we can make sure that you're in good standing come next spring, okay? Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is early registration, coming up. So next Monday, April 27th is early registration at 6 a.m. This is for fall and winter athletes. If you are a spring athlete, you will register with your class. Before you can register, you need to make sure you meet with your advisor so they can clear you through degree works. If you haven't met with them, make sure you set up an appointment or email them to talk about the fact that they haven't emailed you. Um, <laughs> Check your email first yes. though, because they probably have emailed you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Oh, Tara has a question. Okay, Tara. If I'm unable to get on Monday morning, uh, what should I do? Ah, the question is, if someone is unable to get on Monday morning, you're getting, um, you try to, to log in and they tell you that it's not your day for registration, you are not allowed to registration on this day, email me as tangent at bridgew.edu. I'm gonna say that like 10 times in the middle of this video so that I can reach out to the assistant director of the registrar and ask, ask her what the issue is. Now, submit your banner ID, your full name, and I will forward that to Michelle Souza, Santos, sorry, and she will let me know whether or not you're able to register. It could be some glitch in the system, it could be something with banner, and we'll clear it up and I'll get right back to you. Okay, Thank you. anything else? Nope. Okay, remember you have to have been on, um, you have to have been on a roster this year in order to um, register early. I'm getting from transfers whether or not they're eligible to do that. Only student athletes that have been on a roster for fall and winter this year are eligible. And your GPA has to be good. All right, Sunshine, you good? Mm -hmm. All right. So next, our next topic is the pass, no pass. I'm sure you've gotten an email, and if you say you haven't, go back and check your emails, because you did. From the academic departments, talking about the pass, no pass policy this year. A student will be able to choose whether or not they want a, a letter grade, which will affect your GPA, or a pass, no pass designation. That's up to you. Once you get your grades, you're gonna be able to choose that. And you're gonna look at your grades and say, hmm, I'm good. I don't want it to affect my GPA negatively because I'm eligible and I'm doing well kind of struggling because I'm not used to online courses. So I'll take all pass, no pass designation. However, if you are struggling with, um, I don't know why that came on there, but if, if you are 
having a hard time with some classes, but you're doing very well in others, and you want to improve your GPA, you can choose to take the, the credit and the, the GPA for certain classes and still go with pass and no fail with others. And again, once you get your grades, you're gonna be able to decide that. If you currently have under a 2.0, you are going to need to have your grades change somehow. So you are gonna to have to get up to that 2.0 with taking grades. However, you don't have to do that with all your classes. So what I want you to do is reach out to me at, Kara, what's my email address? Stangent at bridgew. <laughs> at bridgew.edu. Thank you. Is that stangent at bridgew.edu? That is stangent at bridgew.edu. So again, I think that's the 10th time, but you'll hear some more. So that you can tell me your specific situation, your specific question, and I can help you figure out what the best course of action is to take. At the end of the day, it's up to you. Alrighty. So next, we are going to talk about academics, academics, academics. Okay, so the most important thing we want to talk about is the fact that the Academic Achievement Center is still open for academic coaching, math services, writing lab, and tutoring. So the way to get to their website is to go to Bridgewater's page. You can click and get into our intranet and then go to Departments, Academic Achievement Center. There's a blue button that says Open Academia. That is where you um, register and sign up for a time and for a specific class. You can also just Google Academia Bridgewater and it'll bring you to the Academic Achievement Center's page. Um, if you need someone to be accountable to, to make a schedule for you, to give you some study skills, I'm also available and I can help you. Um, my email is kgilbreth at student.bridgew.edu. And it's what? <laughs> kgilbreth at student.bridgew.edu? <laughs> is it? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. <laughs> and can you help them with their time management? Yes, I can help you with your time management. Because I know. why would they be having tough time with their time management? Because this is a stressful time. And so things have been thrown out of whack. Your study skills are probably all over the place. Your time management is probably all over the place and your schedule is all over the place. So I can help you set up all of those things just to make you more successful in the next few weeks because that's all we have left. I think we have a question. We have a question. Have Sarah, a question. if I wanted to withdraw from a class, even if the drop ad date has passed, am I able to do so? So withdrawing from a class, the pass, sorry, the ad drop date is passed. But the withdrawal date from full-time classes is Monday the 27th. So if you're going to do it, do it now. And if you withdraw from that class, it, you've got to go on the registrar's website, look for printable forms on there. You'll click for the withdrawal form, and then you can fill that out and email it to the registrar, which is registrar at bridgew.edu. Now, if you can't remember all these specific directions, because I'm really right now kind of watching them up a little bit, what you need to do is go on the registrar's website and find the information it is right there because they know that people are withdrawing from classes now. So it is there for you to find. It's very easy to find and you can handle it because you're a student athlete and you're smart and you're independent. Okay, great question. Okay. And what's Kara Gilbert's email address? I believe it's kgilbreth at student.bridgew.edu. Everybody got that? kgilbreth at student.bridgew.edu. <laughs> Did you get that? Call today. <laughs> Call today. That's right. <laughs> As seen on TV. <laughs> okay. Can you tell we've been doing this a lot yet? So, I have one big reminder for all of you. You need to read your BSU emails every single day. Things are changing, things are updating. You're getting information from faculty, from advisors, from us, and you need to check those every day. You can't ignore your BSU emails. This is a key time to be checking those out. Student announcements still has important information, less of it, so it's easier to read, but you've got to connect. You're out there, you're far away from some of us, and we miss you, but you still have to stay connected. That's why we're doing these kind of films. Mary Beth does a video every every single week that you can find on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. And they're pretty funny, and they're very informative, and it's her connecting with all of you. These are important to us. 
So check that out. It's BSUAD Act, correct? BSUAD, right. Okay. Or BSU Bears Act. This could be a problem. Let's start with BSUAD, okay? And then check those emails. Communicate with your professors, your advisors, <laughs> us, Kira, me, your coaches, all right? Stay connected. All right, Kira, 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 people who can help you. Okay, if you, you need <laughs> academic support, you can contact me or Pam Spillane. She is the learning disability specialist. If you need compliance, information or advice you can contact sue and then we also want to talk about mental health because this is a scary and stressful time and so we want to make sure we want to make sure you guys are taking care of yourself so we have included the bsu counseling center's information they are still taking appointments <laughs> how can you take care of yourself um it's really important that you take care of yourself at a time like this and to make sure that you're doing okay and checking in with yourself. Or reporting somebody in a... So the number at, I'm gonna get this right, at the Counseling Center is 508-531-1331, and you want to press two when they give you options. There's no, no problem with reaching out for help. That's what we're all here for. So stay well, stay healthy, Stay as happy as you can, and every day is a great day to be a bear! Woo!